I know this probably ain't going to concern anybody but me and my family, but I'm here at the cemetery before I leave, head back to Florida. I'm here once again to uh, make sure Dad's military plaque gets put on his headstone. I thought I'd stop by this military grave site because it's very, um, uh, it's important to our family because my grandfather was commander of the American Legion at the time that uh, this um, little memorial piece here was built. My grandfather uh, was commander of that American Legion and the American Legion plus my grandfather came over here and they they installed almost all this. Those guns off of the uh, USS Indiana were dedicated and they were put here. Now I don't think my grandfather had anything to do with this but what he did do he, they were very instrumental on these flags poles they were installed and I remember those are over the years they felt fallen apart they're still here though those are old cannonballs and I remember grandfather had some kind of a welder and I think they did it here I was just a child I, I barely can remember this and I, they welded them where they were like a pyramid around that flag and over the years like I said they've kind of broken apart and who knows, maybe somebody broke them apart. I don't think so, though. They just look like they're just kind of old and just kind of fell apart. But, yeah, he installed, he did he did that, welded that, and, and they installed these flagpoles. So I wanted to get a picture of it and a video also, uh, just so that my kids and my grandkids know that here, that uh, their great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather was instrumental in uh, getting this done. Let's go. This cemetery really is, I think, very well protected. I mean, you don't see very hardly, I don't think I've ever seen any kind of vandalism or anything around here. It's patrolled constantly because right over there is the Dean's house. I think those are dormitories. This is surrounded by the Anderson College, which is the world's um, home to, um, some kind of a Christianity thing. I can't think of what it's called now. And there, there you go. There's the Anderson University Police right there, going by. Um, it's constantly patrolled. So, it, uh, it's just one of them kind of cemeteries where they've always kept it maintained very well. It's always been peaceful. It's always been, it's just always been nice. And I don't think I've ever seen any kind of vandalism around here. And I don't think they'd tolerate it. In any way it's surrounded by gates it's surrounded by tall fence and at a certain time their gates out front are locked there's a lot of um, mausoleums here family crypts crypts am I saying that right and I don't know what they do nowadays but I can tell you as a child when I came out here and grandfather was making a lot of this stuff I used to I used to run around this cemetery I mean, I don't know that sounds awful, but I did. I had no fear as a child. I used to run around the cemetery, and I can remember going in those family crypts, being curious. The doors were open, and I used to go in there and look, and I can recall some of the things that I saw inside. And today, I don't think they'd allow that. I think they keep them locked up somehow. I mean, not that I care. I, you know, it's none of my business, but I just can't imagine them leaving things open today like they used to, which is a shame because back in the day, you people my age know, we never locked doors. We just didn't. Never locked a car door. Never locked a house door. There was no need. Today, everybody, everybody's losing their losing their minds. I think, like no common sense at all anymore. All right, let's see what else we can do. Whoops, Katie's taking a walk. Here. 